Hey guys, today we're going to see how to assemble a refracting telescope. Let's begin. I'm using a Celestron Power Seeker 40 AZ telescope. It's a refractor telescope. When you open the box, you the longest compartment you'll see will be the tripod compartment. This is what we're going to use to mount our telescope. This is what the telescope is going to be sitting on. We're going to mount it over here. These are the legs and on the legs you, you see knobs like this which can be opened as shown and you can extend the legs up to whatever height you want. You have to put it on the ground like this and you can extend all the legs to whichever height you want. We've taken the tripod out, it's time for the optical tube. You will, open, you will get the optical tube in this compartment over here. Once you open that compartment, you will get the optical tube. The optical tube will come with a screw and, and over here there will be a lid on either ends. The last compartment is the lens compartment. It will come with all the different types of lenses and the screws for each of the lenses. It also comes with a lens holder. You can mount this on the uh, tripod and you can hold up to three different kinds of lenses in here. Now for the assembly of the telescope. You'll need to take the optical tube in your hand and remove all the lids out. You'll have two on the finder scope. This is the finder scope and two on the main tube. Keep the lids safe for now. And from the lens compartment, you'll need this periscope. So remove the lid from that as well and now you need to take the viewing end of the telescope the optical tube and you will find a screw over there unscrew it and in the periscope insert the end without a screw into this end and then tighten the screw to keep it in place Okay, we've done mounting the uh, perpendicular mirror. When you're doing this or any uh, mounting uh, whatsoever, when you're tightening the screws, always remember to not tighten it too much or else the plastic will peel off. Okay, so now that we've done, uh, we are done with this, let's move on to attaching the optical tube to the tripod. The first step to mounting the optical tube to the tripod is to un uh, unscrew the screw that um, is over here. So we just unscrew it. On the optical tube where the screw was fitted, you'll see that one side has a metal ending with the, the threading in it and the other side is plastic. So um, uh, to mount it to the tripod, the tripod will have an end like this. This will spin around and it will have a threaded hole in here. You'll need to press the telescope, uh, the optical tube part into here and uh, see that those two holes align and then fit the screw in through the plastic part coming into the brass part. Don't tighten the screw too much um, because of the same reason the plastic might peel off and um, about how this works the tighter this screw is the more harder it is to move the telescope like this so if you want to find an object you do um, you loosen the screw a bit and you find the object positioned to the telescope and then you tighten it the next part is to attach the lens lenses this will help us see the body that we're pointing the telescope at but before that let us take some time to understand what lenses we are going to be using and how to use them so in the lens box you'll find few lenses and among them are a few examples i've uh, kept here these are the main lenses and let's see these for, uh, take, a, take a look at these first um, the main lenses uh, can be attached directly to the perpendicular that we've attached to the optical tube and uh, we, uh, we're going to view through them even if we attach the other lenses that um, uh, these lenses you you'll still have to view through in one of these lenses in most telescopes you uh, telescope uh, models you uh, you will be provided with two of these lenses one with the uh, medium magnification and one with the uh, the maximum magnification 
this is the 8 millimeter lens uh, because it's small you might be um, you might assume that uh, this will give you the medium magnification but no the 8 millimeter lens will give you maximum magnification while the larger 20 millimeter lens will give you um, medium magnification and moving on to the other lenses this is the Barlow lens. This will this will give you two times zoom to whichever um, uh, eyepiece you're using. So um, you you you'll have to take the uh, perpendicular out. You'll have to attach the ba uh, Barlow lens in, and then you'll put this inside and then uh, tighten the screw. This is the Barlow lens. It'll give you two x optical zoom, and then this is an erecting eyepiece with 1.5x uh, optical zoom so both of these you can see are secondary lenses and uh, the eyepieces you can call um, primary lenses so let's move on to attaching the lenses to attach the eyepiece you'll need to um, unscrew the screw in the perpendicular until it sits flush with the side and then take whichever eyepiece you you choose the medium magnification or the maximum magnification and then place it uh, place it snugly in there and when you show it's secure tighten the screw, uh, perpendicular screw but please be careful not to tighten it too much i cannot uh, emphasize this enough the plastic will peel off if you tighten it too much and you're all set to go you're all set and ready to go now, but if you want to attach the lens mount, it'll come with a plastic disc and a screw. You'll need to screw it into the tripod uh, in the place shown in the picture. To make sure the telescope is clean and working perfectly, wipe all the glass parts with a dry microfiber cloth. And don't use the telescope in the sun. Until next time, I'm Kaushik Raghavan and thank you for watching.